Hello RDA family and everyone else watching. I just want to give you guys a bit of an update on this week and what's happening, the, the Canberra convoy um, and this weekend there's some things happening as well. Now I personally can't be on the ground in Canberra because of a lot of reasons but I want you to all be assured that I am helping and working out, working for it in the background. So um, I'm coordinating with a lot of people there, offering support, uh, promoting the event and things like that. Uh, but I just can't personally be there because of um, a lot of reasons and I, I won't go through those. Uh, but I just wanna say that it's really encouraging to see that Graham Hood has taken the reins. I think he is the perfect leader to legitimize the Canberra convoy because um, it needs leadership and it needs someone who is very calm and rational and not extreme in any way to voice the concerns of Australians. And I think that Graham, you, you can't hate Graham Hood. I mean, if someone's trolling him, they just need to stop because he is just such a good guy. And I just support him 100%. And I have been in the background the entire time. So I just wanna let you know of that. Um, and I know that there are convoys coming from all over the country. And if you can go, I think, uh, and you feel in your heart that it's the right thing to do, um, I know for sure that the Saturday events have been really peaceful, really productive and very heartwarming. You know, I, I think during the week, it's hard for most people to stay the whole week, but if you can get to the events on Saturday, I think that's gonna go a really long way. You could see the footage from last weekend. It was huge. I mean, my estimate would be 150 to 200,000. And a lot of those people had to travel a long way. So it's really beautiful to see. And I also wanna let you know that we're actually communicating with the leaders of the Canadian convoy. And we're trying to get a recording or a video from the leader of the Canadian convoy so that we can play that at the Saturday event. So hopefully we can get a hold of that and they can send us a message of support. Um, as you know, they've been going through a lot over there in Canada. Uh, the police are using tactics like they have in, in Victoria, really. Um, but anyway, that's that, that part aside. Um, I also, you know, I'll, I'll just finish on, it's obviously really encouraging that Graham Hood has taken the stand to go into parliament and voice our concerns to parliament. Now, I understand that a lot of people um, are really disgruntled with anything to do with parliament, but at the end of the day, we're protesting outside the parliament building. So it is political and we do want them to hear us. And the fact that Craig Kelly is helping him get that message through, it doesn't matter whether you have questions about Craig Kelly or not. The fact is, a common enemy is a friend of ours and he's helping us get the message to them and you cannot replace that sort of um, help that he can give. So I think it's fantastic and I'm really excited to see how it goes. Um, of course, the government is so corrupt, it's likely it won't do anything, but at least we will know that they've seen the demands and Graham Hood said this today, you know, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. We've tried everything. It's totally worth a shot. And I'm really excited to see what happens and I'm behind Graham Hood the entire way and I would do anything to support him. So uh, anyway, that's that aside. So I also want to talk about Brisbane this weekend. So I'm having a, I'm here seeing my family. I'm in Brisbane. I'm really excited. 75% of my family up and left Victoria within a week. And uh, it's been really uh, difficult for me on a personal level, but that's beside the point. Uh, while I'm here, I thought, geez, why not have a get together and meet people in Brisbane? Now, the, the point of this event is not to take away from the convoy, just so that everyone knows. If you wanna go to Canberra, uh, you should definitely still go. Um, you shouldn't stay behind for this picnic event, okay? But at the end of the day, Brisbane is 15 hours away from Canberra and lots of people can't go to Canberra. So it's fine. There's enough people to go around. I'm not trying to uh, steal steal any anyone or anything like that. Please, if you're going to Canberra, that's more important. Um, but anyway, the event's gonna be really fun. Um, you know, it's. <laughs> It's just Monica's style to uh, decide to have an event a week beforehand and then try and put it all together. And uh, it's pretty full on, but we're, we're getting it done. And we're gonna have, you know, kids activities and food trucks. And so it's gonna be a legitimate event and the public are welcome too. And hopefully they stumble across it and then are like, oh, crikey, I've just walked into an RDA event without even realizing, oh, well, my kids want to go on the jumping castle, so I let them go. And while they're doing that, they can chat to other people and who knows what will come of that. 
And we're also going to have stalls. Um, so there are, you know, freedom businesses, <laughs> freedom loving businesses who can, who are going to set up stalls. We also have candidates from different parties, One Nation, UAP, and maybe even some independents. Um, setting up booths um, to talk to people. Um, we have some RDA tables, of course. Um, we're not selling any merchandise there or anything, but um, we're just there to share information. There's no speeches, it's not a protest, it's not a rally, it's actually just a picnic, okay? So if you can come to the Brisbane event, it's on Sunday, the 13th of February from uh, 12 to 4 p.m. and it's at Victoria Park in Brisbane off Gilchest Road or Street, I think. Anyway, you, you can see it um, in my posts anyway, um, or on the RDA website under events, it'll be there as well. Um, so yeah, if you can come on down, just come down and have some fun and you don't have to talk to any of the stalls if you don't want to, just come and say hi to me. Um, I've never been to a Brisbane event before, so I really would like to meet you guys. So if you, if you don't live in Brisbane, but you have friends in Brisbane, uh, you should let them know about it as well. Um, I'll put the link to the event in the description of this video. Um, my last point would be that I think there's one thing we can all agree on when it comes to the federal election, and that is that we need to put the majors last, okay? And we need to put minor parties first. It doesn't really matter which one, okay? You can, you make up your mind about that. I know what I'll be doing, but everyone else needs to figure it out for themselves. But as long as we put Greens, Labor and Liberal last, we're going to be in a better spot than we are now. So we can all agree on that. Minor parties first, major parties last, full stop. Let's do that. And uh, we have some really great plans on, uh, we're thinking about doing some courses on how to empower people to, to become active in their own communities and things like that. And so that we can create activists all over Australia. <laughs> They're gonna hate that. <laughs> anyway, um, that's enough from me, but uh, you know, good luck to the Canberra people. Stay focused on what the goal is. The goal is getting Liberty back. Don't worry about all the infighting, okay? And Graham Hood is a legend and I trust him with, well, I haven't met him, so I wouldn't say I trust him with my life, but I trust him with our lives. I trust him with the, uh, the message of the movement. And he's, he's such a great spokesperson for the media and for parliament. He's the right guy and I trust him so much. And I hope you guys all do as well. If you see anyone bagging him out, stand up for him because like he doesn't need to do this he's retired he could go back to his farm and spend time with his grandkids and not worry about any of this he doesn't and the people that have nothing to gain and everything to lose are the kind of people that you want to follow okay he doesn't need to do this he doesn't need to do this and he's doing it anyway because god has given him this mission and he's following it so i'm really proud to see him taking that step and really excited but anyway See you guys, that's enough. See you from Brisbane. Bye.